Hi everybody, 860 Cologne here with another fragrance video. This one is going to be for the ladies. This is one that I've wanted to try for a while and I happened to find it at TJ Maxx pretty cheaply. I think it was like 14 bucks or so. This is Clinique Aromatics in Black. Now this one came out in 2015, and I'll list some of the notes here on the screen, but plum, pink grapefruit, osmanthus, and myrrh are the notes that really got me interested in this one. And I happen to be a fan of the original uh, Clinique Aromatics from 1971, which I believe was the very first fragrance that was solely produced in the United States. It's really harsh out of the bottle. I know my co-workers at the Clinique counter hate when anyone tries to spray that one, but honestly it's one of those fragrances that the dry down is so much nicer than what comes out of the bottle. So I'm going to be trying this one for the first time. Let's see how it goes. All right, this is the 1.7 ounce, 50 ml bottle, and this is an Eau de Parfum concentration. Very interesting little bottle. It's going across a little bit of brown here, but it is, well, it's kind of a dark brown, but the bottle, the box is black. I already have something on, and I'm, I'm with some friends. I'm waiting to pick them up, so I'm not going to put this on my skin, so I'm just going to spray the box here and hope it doesn't stink the car up too much for them. All right, one spray will do. Oh! On second thought, I am going to spray my skin. That This is actually nice. It, it is made for women, but let me just make sure. It's going to come across a little bit feminine, but I think a guy could actually pull this off out of the bottle right now. We'll see how the dry down goes, but I'm going to put it on my skin. Just one spray. Very nice. It's a dark fragrance, but not too heavy at all. The pink grapefruit and the plum really help to lighten this up. It's just, it's not a light, fruity fragrance. It's a heavy fruity fragrance, but not in the sense of being heavy and projecting a lot. It's just a deep fragrance, we'll put it that way. I think I am getting the Osmanthus coming out because Osmanthus has a very interesting characteristic to it and uh, I tend to like that sometimes, and myrrh I like very much. Yeah, this one is actually not quite unisex, but I think a lot of guys could pull this off very easily. Okay, now, if you like black orchid or even purple orchid, but the vetiver in there, like me, is a little bit too much and it's a little bit too heavy for you in that sense, this would be a great fragrance for you. I think this would be a fragrance that would keep people guessing as to what it was you were wearing. It's not going to be too floral. It's not too powdery or too old ladylike. It's a mystery fragrance is the best way that, that I can describe it. But it's one that I actually like out of the bottle very much. I'm going to definitely give this one some more wearings and uh, give it to some people that I know to wear and see how they like it. So I'm glad I found this because I'd never seen this in TJ Maxx before and had wanted to try it for a while. I saw it in a duty-free store, but they didn't have a tester and I didn't feel like paying full retail for it. So aromatics in black very interesting fragrance. If you've tried this, let me know how you like it. It doesn't seem to be getting too much attention in the fragrance world, but for this price range, <laughs> I am so glad I found a bottle of it. So, wanted to do a 
women's review since I haven't done many of those or even any of those yet. So hope you enjoyed this. If you can, please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon.